All right, so let's finish waterproofing these walls. You can do this at any point. If you want to do it before um, you start putting up the tiles, that's fine. But what I always wait to do is as I'm doing the tiles, I already have the mortar mixed, so now I can install. So this particular one is called a mixing valve seal. And it's what waterproofs this big old hole right here that we need for the plumber to have access. If there was anything that went wrong with this shower valve, then the plumber would be able to do his thing. So you take the cover off and then he can get at it. And that's why it's so big there. There's also holes for this pipe and then holes for the pipe up there. And we have smaller versions of this as well. This particular brand is by Schluter Systems. It is a great way to waterproof this hole. And we'll get this open. And I actually like to keep this cardboard and I'll show you why later. It's a good size hole for when we're cutting our tile. So here's the piece. Now, in this particular unit, there is a two by four stud sticking down just a little bit right here. So if I try and stick this in, it's hitting the two by four. So quite simply, all you need to do is cut a small section out just so that it can get around that. Because you want to have this big side in. Once you put that in, and now it'll fit in perfectly. And to install these things, real simple, take a bit of your mortar, spread it out. If you have the, what's called the Curdy trowel, which is basically a 5 16 uh, V-notch trowel, but for the actual Schluter ones, they are a U-notch, sorry, square notch, but this I've found works just fine. Because all you're trying to do is stick this material, the curdy material, to your board. Just press that in, and then take paint off your trowel, and then take the flat edge, and basically squeeze the mortar out of the end. So now you have 100% adhesion. When you have water, coming down the wall behind the tile, because water will get through the tile, it'll hit this wall and it's waterproof, it'll come down here, instead of tucking in behind, it's gonna hit this rubber right here, roll down, and then continue on down. So that way it keeps it waterproof, because if you leave a hole like that, there is a chance of water tucking behind. Now some, I've had some people say, no, 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 it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I have heard otherwise that I, and I truly believe that that is what can happen. So you can do everything right, but if you leave this hole, it can be a problem. And so you do the same to that one and to that one. And that's all there is to it, to finish your waterproofing. So now I'm going to show you how to waterproof if you don't have these seal valves. If you can't find them or you don't want to buy them, they're not the cheapest thing out there. I really like to use them, but here is a way that also if you don't have a round hole for whatever reason, if it's um, sometimes Kohler or other, brand, other European brands will have these triangular and it's really difficult. You can either use curdy membrane and make your own or you basically take the wetty caulking like we've been using before and you create your own ring. So all you do is you go around the hole. So now water is going to run just like the idea of the rubber. It's gonna come down, hit this point, run around, and then drip down. It won't be as smooth as this, obviously, because of the bumps and dives, but it will not tuck down underneath. So there's a uh, less expensive way of doing it. I'm actually gonna clean this off and put on the proper one, but here's, that's how you would do that. All right, so if you find that you can't find the Wetty Board product, or if you wanna stick with the Schluter products, they have the same kind of waterproof technology, just in a bit of a different setup. So here's two pieces I have, and same idea with the, um, the core. The only difference is with the Curdy board, the waterproof board, it's a bit more flexible. You can't see it as much, but it has a little bit of flex. Now that doesn't matter too much, because once you put on your mortar, it stiffens it up. The difference is with the Wetty board, is it's already stiff, it has a, like a concrete base to it. So the difference between these two, as um, far as waterproofing, is nothing. They both are 100% waterproof. There is a difference with installing, as you don't use a caulking to do it, to uh, waterproof it, you use what's called curdy band. So you can either buy the band itself, 
comes in a box like so. Or you can take the curry membrane and cut strips like this. So obviously this is a simpler way. And for this particular seam, you would cut it this length, put some mortar on here, and then stick it down. A lot like we did the seal here, you're just adhering. It's like um, tape on drywall. You put the tape on, then you put mud underneath, stick it down. And then that's what gives it its strength. So then what if you do the washers, you put the screws and the washers in, you put a chunk of the curdy over top of the washer. And that's basically the only difference. So this washer would have a square of curdy over top of it instead of the caulking. If you're worried about inside corners leaking and whatnot, one great way is to use the prefabricated um, waterproof corners here. So this is called the Schluter, uh, Schluter Curdy inside corner. So in here, you would put it in like that. You'd put mortar all around, stick it in, and same idea, squeeze all the mortar out. And this little guy would obviously guarantee that nothing can get in that corner. So that's another way to do it. And that's how you would do it with the Curdy system. And then for outside corners, you would have this guy here. Now I don't have any on this particular project because it's with a stand-up shower you have it along the edges on the on the sill. But basically it works like that. And then same idea, put mortar down, squeeze it out, and now you have a waterproof seal. So that's how you would do it with the Schluter system. So this is called Schluter Curdy Board, and then you have the, uh, the Curdy membrane.